Don't you wanna cuff me? I don't wanna settle. I'm chasing the bag, I run up a level. I want the cheddar, don't wanna retire. She wanna lick me, she know I'm a sniper. Pull up, cause he my shooters for hire. I'm spin this heat, don't put out the fire. I've been talking, don't wanna converse. Her pussy at least, so I put her a purse. Her friend on my body, she going berserk. She wants her a molly, she finished with her. Run it up, baby, she don't wanna learn. I told her to wait and I'll give her a turn. I'm in the trap like I work at a firm. I'm doing these holidays, I'm whipping it burns. Run it up, bitch, what they calling me, Mitch? Please do not blame me, I might take your bitch. Don't hang with rats, can't fuck with a snitch. Tell you to run up, finish the clip. That bitch, she bad, she all on my dick. That shorty, she local, I'm thinking she crip. Get on your knees, let me bump on your lip. I be with my guys, I'm not trying to switch. I'm like Africa Dabber, disappear, fly out the phantom. This be the low nigga anthem. I said, bitch, get your beers up, don't need no beers in the dance. This be the low nigga anthem. Fuck all the action, I get the bag, then I'm dashing. This be the low nigga anthem. This be the anthem. This be the anthem. This be the anthem. anthem. Africa Dabber. What you mean? Oh, where's the roof? Magic, magic, show up back in the booth. Yeah. Oh shit, you put you on the loose. Uh-huh. As I look down at my shoes, oh. I can't handle the truth. Ooh, Tali, I'm being shally. Yeah, it's some hell with Tikali. I'm like Gundali. 718 She told me don't pick cause she fuck with my vibe. Don't push it on live. Cause bitch, I'm alive. You think, you think you know me, you might. Fuck your bitches and girl last night. She tell me I'm flock on me, cut. I told her, well, baby, you right. Play sight, but I'm a low nigga tonight. Yeah, I'm a low nigga tonight. Solo, 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 no, 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 solo, solo, no, 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 Okay, we are now live with the Burnout Podcast. I am your host, Rebecca Shelby, a.k.a. I got my foot on your neck, bitch. What y'all doing? <laughs> like, what are y'all doing? I feel like I haven't been on here in mad long, but before I get into myself, I want to introduce my guest. We have Run It Up Cho and Run It Up Rich here. Um, what's up, y'all? Hey. Yo, what's good? What's up? <laughs> Uh, so, um, what brings you guys up here to S Street Media? Well, uh, I met this young lady after a performance, and she <laughs> told me about this show. And I said, why not? It's a great um, opportunity for exposure and a great opportunity to let new people know who Run It Up is. Mm-hmm. 
So um, I'm going to actually get into the performance I met you guys at. All right. So shout out Five Spot, Desert Storm Radio, Take One, right? Mm-hmm, the last they take. They did. Um, last take. Okay. Yeah. Good. Got that. <laughs> last take. They um did a showcase for a whole bunch of artists. Will Ferdinand was on there, Um, was there. He was on our, he was one of our last guests. Um, that's the guy that sung that I was there with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and they were there, and I met them, and I was on my little podcaster interview with shit like, yo, 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 yo. Network if you ever streaming. need an interview, come to Extra Media. Nice. So um, they're nice. here now after a wild ass performance. Like that, the music that y'all just heard was dumb too, by the way. Yes. Um, so Make yeah. Sure y'all go tune into that mm-hmm. SoundCloud. Run it yeah. up, show on SoundCloud. Run it up, rich on SoundCloud. Plug it yeah. in, plug yeah. it in. Tap in, tap in. But yo, when I said it was wild and y'all, and everybody know I'm a harsh critic. Like I don't like nobody. Like feel me because like. I'm I'm talented and so are you guys. Facts. And I'm somebody like every I feel like everyone feel like they can rap. Like they see one person do it and they like, oh, I could be a rapper. I could be so da da da. So I really fuck with people when I see that they're talented. So I was, you know, they're like, all right, let me see what these niggas gonna do. Let me see what these boys gonna come up here and do. And they yeah, came, they showed up and showed the fuck out and That's had the fact. whole five spot fucking with them. So shout out That's to y'all. Thank you. Thank so y'all ready for this interview? What? It didn't start already? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So, so rolling. All right. So um, let's get into how did you guys meet? How did this whole run it up thing happen? <laughs> Is there more people in run it up? Um, um, yeah, but they're, how do I say it? They're, they're still in school. Mm. And i rather, like, have them focus more into into that aspect that's before. what i fuck with we support yeah. scholars on this show that's bad, so that's, that's i fuck with that Definitely that's do dope. The school tip yeah. um really this like this this started out of nowhere to be honest i was doing my own thing as you know i, I wasn't even show at the time nonetheless run it up show i was um jay ali that's what i was going <laughs> okay. by jay ali and I was just wilding on the whole conscious thing. And he was like 15, no, 14. And this, this is my little 14. cousin, by the way. Yeah. This, this is my little cousin. I just was about to ask if yeah, y'all was related. Yeah, so, related, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. So he came to me, I think after one day in high school, he was like, yo, I see you rapping. I kind of want to do my rap thing too. You trying to get a song together? I said, why not? You know, let's do it. And we did one, one thing, one thing turned to another thing, yes. and another thing turned to another thing. And... Lo and behold, run it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you were 14 when you decided to want to rap. Yeah, I was, but I was not really taking it as serious. Mm-hmm. I mean, but then again, that's how it always starts. But every rapper, they don't mm-hmm. take it serious until that time comes where they realize... Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I got to take it serious and push hard and stuff. So did your big cousin, like, inspire you? Yeah, he, played, he played a big role mm-hmm. into it because without, yeah. without him, none of this would be happening right now. That's, that's what's up. That's what's up. So I seen in your bio that you were Haitian, so I'm assuming y'all both Haitian. Yeah, we're yeah. both Haitian. Okay, y'all both see Creole? Of course. Okay, of course. okay. So how is, like, how important is your upbringing, like, as far as, like, your music goes? Like, how important is your upbringing to that? To me personally, it plays a huge role because when I was on the whole conscious thing, even mm-hmm. then, a lot of my boss is going to have, thank you, mama, shout out to my mama, mm-hmm. things like that, because my mama is like, that's my mama's boy, mm-hmm. I don't care, it, it is what it is. And then on top of that, I also, like, I don't know if y'all heard in Abracadabra, mm-hmm. how I kind of incorporated the mm-hmm. Creole into the English rap. I said, um, Facts. ooh, tale. Which is like, oh wait, Tale is waiting, Creole. I'll be in Chale. That means I'm be in the heat. Getting some head with Tech Kale. For some reason I have a thing for bald women. Don't ask me why. Okay. <laughs> don't ask me why. But I, mean, he's bald. I don't you discriminate. Like what you else. like, right. of course. Yeah. I guess so. It's fine. It's crazy. <laughs> so yeah. like it, for me personally, the upbringing of being Haitian, doing do, being who I am. It's, it's mm-hmm. gotta be showing the music. Nah, I fuck with that. Shout out to my little sister. She's half Haitian. So. Word. Mm-hmm. And y'all like the first revolution. Like y'all the first people to actually wow. fight back. Yeah, won the revolution. That's yeah, y'all fought back and That's won. I respect and that. And not for nothing. Like on this show, I talk a lot about spirituality. And I know y'all tired of me saying that to all my guests. So don't don't shade me. But um. <laughs> 
we're like really about spirituality. So is that like something that like coming from that? Is that something that comes into play with like knowing that music was for you? Um, I'd say a, a little bit of yes and a little bit of no. I got some spirits to fight my own bitch up. <laughs> so, but with the spirit thing, yeah, it, um, one day I, quick story, um, with me, it's like one day I'm into it, the next day I'm not a little bit, feel me, but when I sit back, and there's always examples around me. For example, you have Kodak Black, that's Haitian. Mm -hmm. um, who else is? I should have like five off my head right now. Um, DJ Who Kid, Tony Yayo. Um, I, I think Future's Haitian too. No, yep. Future not Haitian. Ah, damn. Let me tell y'all something about Future. Damn. Future's a liar. He's a lie. I thought. Yo, when I found that shit out, I was and I was my little sister dad was telling me. She's like, to this day, it's people who still think Future Haitian. But like he said it in an interview, he was like, Nah, I'm just cool with my Haitians, but I'm not Haitian. But I'm just like, damn, nigga, like you jack that shit Facts. harder than Haitian niggas. I guess it's. Y Clef facts mm -hmm. I was thinking Y Clef. I, I, I ain't wanna say it though, cause I'm like he might not know who Y Clef is. No, I do, I do, I do. Okay. I mean, us Haitians, I guess, is were so lit that Future just had to just going to ah. jack in that. For mm -hmm. so, I mean, like Haitians, we get around. Like we have our yeah. own little town in Miami called Little <laughs> Haiti. <laughs> like, like, I, I, yeah, I used like, to date a Haitian too. <laughs> now, let me stop. <laughs> but nah, nah, y'all definitely like this something um about like I know like growing up and shit like that because I went to school with a lot of Haitian people and they used to get bullied and stuff like that. Yeah. And one of my favorite teachers was Haitian. And he just was like, bro, it's only because people's hating on us. Like, it's only because people's mad because we just hoin something that a lot of people don't. So that's always something that I just like, you know, when I see mm -hmm. my Haitian peoples, I'm like, do your thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. being Haitian, I really try to like, I think for both of us, I try to make it stand out that that is a big standing point in who we are. Mm -hmm. nice. Like at the when I first started doing the Grind the Starve showcase, big shout out to Grind the Starve, big shout out yeah. to Jones, GOS, shout out to Jones, Juski, Hip Hop Mike, all about it. But um, what I started doing was I would wear shirts that represented me. So I would have a Haiti shirt, Facts. or I would have a Queen shirt, I and that. always represent, my, always represent, always represent. Mm -hmm. my um, my dad. He lives in Haiti now. My mm -hmm. biological father. And he would always send over shirts when we was cool and talk or whatever. So I would always have that, like, different Haiti shirts to wear. And then my family, you know, they Americanize in a sense. I have different things that represent Queen. So I always try to show out for, for my people. Mm, yeah. yeah. So how important is, like, teamwork to y'all? Um, Without teamwork, I'd, I'd say there's no structure. Mm -hmm. So if, if um, he's off, then I'm off. Feel me? So, even with ideas, it's, it's like I have to present it to him. Mm -hmm. For me, like, so like, cause without so doing that, that, things won't go right, right. And it has, like, it has to be right. Like, it has, mm -hmm. it has to be like that in order, to, in order stuff to get be done co like correctly, correctly, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Like yeah. tonight, we were tonight we were coming through, and to be honest, I had told him we were doing an interview. <clears throat> But I hadn't really sat down with him and like, all right, so this is the interview day. I had already, like, I didn't show him none of the conversation that we had had. So there was no coordination or cooperation there. Yeah. Once it did get down to, all right, this is what we're doing, and finally pulling up, it, it, it became hectic. Mm -hmm. So really, especially with the music, we're, we're really building on coordination and trying to be as one as possible yeah as possible yeah, that's that's key that's, all the job that's get key done. Yeah. so all right so you guys y'all i think y'all from long island but um y'all are from baby. queens y'all from queens Shout um, to North Side. so what was that like growing up in queens um growing up in queens i'd say it was tough for me because i came i was i wasn't born here mm. i was born in haiti mm. so Came here when I was five years old, and 
that's when I was only speaking French, like strictly French, no English at all. Mm-hmm. A Haitian kid leaving Haiti to go live in Queens. It was pretty big to me because things up here is pretty different yeah. from down there. So, like even just the airport. I was being assisted, and it was my first time. Like, no offense to everybody out there, it was my first time seeing a white lady, ever. Uh, really? So, and she's she, uh, like, imagine a white lady walking mm-hmm. towards you, like reaching her hands out, like, follow me. We're mm-hmm. going to America, Queens, and it was like it was a, a whole big like wow. scary thing to me. I mean, because yeah. So, how did y'all find hip hop? Like, how did y'all find like what was that? Like, like what was the like the connect? Yeah. For me, shout out to my big brother Frankie because I used to get babysit a lot my mom was always working single parent you know mm-hmm. typical black family thing mm-hmm. so we he used to pick me up I used to be with my sister who babysit me shout out Rose definite and he would play Hove, Pac, Biggie all the greats you know and I'm in the back as a kid bumping that mm. you know baby two years old three years old so immediately you know that connection rose and then mm-hmm. as a young in 12 13 I was always performing I did my first performance I, I plagiarized a YouTube performance it was this um this wow. nigga's crazy yeah <laughs> I forgot this what it was crazy. it was um, every day I'm hungry Oh, they did a remix. Yeah, shit. I was stealing the whole <laughs> shit, but I, I performed it like it was my every day. I'm hungry. Like it was my track. Like I wrote every word. Long story short, doing that kind of opened me up to seeing like, yo, performing is lit. Yeah. I like music. And writing. not for nothing, like your performance skills, like I was saying earlier, like you guys, like y'all have a presence. And not for nothing, like. Like, it was a lot of people that came, but Five Star wasn't, like, packed. But, mm. like, the way y'all just engaged the crowd, y'all mm. would have thought, like, it was the, a yeah. full house. Yeah, like, like yeah, y'all are really dope, that's, though. That's how we we always mm-hmm. always come to Five Star. We, like, we don't come, I mean, yeah, of course, the people. Like, that's who we're streaming our music to. But we always come with the mindset with the, like, yo, no matter what, no matter how much people is there, or how much people's not gonna feel? We're gonna come, we're gonna go up there on stage. We're gonna kill it, and just let mm-hmm. me just whoever fuck with it, just fuck fucks with it. it. Yeah, to be honest. So what happens when y'all don't agree on something? Oh, that. I, it's it's not, I mean, <laughs> sometimes it's best to agree to disagree, but <laughs> most times in that we we try to keep like I I. I'm, I like to say I'm a very persuasive individual. Mm. And if I'm. Yeah, you're Pisces. <laughs> yeah. If I'm trying to drill a point across, if I can get it across, I'm, it's going to work. Mm-hmm. But if, it's, if it don't work, it just. That's it. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Yeah. Same thing. You just end up persuading me <laughs> by, by presenting facts, evidence, or just. Even but imagination. it's good that yeah. you're open to listen. Because yeah. I know me, I'm mad hard-headed. Like, nobody can't tell me shit. And, like, I'm now, like, learning. Like, you know, like, okay, maybe sometimes I can, like, listen. But let me tell y'all, literally the other day, like, my cousin was telling me some shit or whatever. And I was just like, bro, like, I don't get what you're saying. Because I genuinely didn't get what she was saying. But, like... It really hurt me to sit there and actually listen. I'm like, I have a problem. <laughs> like, tears literally were welling up in my eyes because I was like, yo, I really don't. Not like welling up because I want to cry, yeah, but nah. just like, like wow. It. Like, I really don't like listening. But that's yeah. good, like, at your age that you're willing to, like, listen and stuff like that. And that you're willing to, like, hear him out and stuff yeah, like that. That's how things wouldn't get done and we want things to get done mm. you know, so i can't always I fuck with that i can always be hard-headed all the time mm-hmm. yeah i be having my moments but like in all reality things need to get done mm-hmm. so. so outside of music and stuff are there any other endeavors and things that you guys are into um like if you wasn't doing music what would you be doing smoking <laughs> just yeah. smoking i'm a i'm a very Big pothead. That's, <laughs> that's a habit I'm trying to cut out. But nah, it's not always smoke. I lied. Matter of fact, I'd say I'm pretty much into cars. Cars? So you yeah. be like a mechanic or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Of mm-hmm. course. What would you be doing? Same thing I'm doing now. Sales. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I fuck with that. 
is hookah girl sales thing. <laughs> I could um, be a salesperson. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with y'all. But nah, that's dope. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. But um, so yeah. Yeah. It's time of my show. I like to get spicy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like to get in the people business. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> How are like your I want to say relationships like affected in music? Cause I know like y'all perform, y'all do performances, y'all going to the spot spot. So I know girls be giving y'all they numbers and shit like that. Yeah. So any of y'all in a relationship? <laughs> um, real G's moving silence like yeah. lasagna. <laughs> yeah, Yo, everybody like No, this is why. <laughs> As this is why I hate I having it. dudes on my show. Because every way dude got a it. secret girlfriend. And they don't never want to be like yes or no because whoever the secret girlfriend is is going to see this shit. That I, and, and I'm literally on live. Like, see? So. I knew it. But so does that like affect <laughs> like your music and stuff like that? Yeah. Like not even music but just like networking and people that you work with and stuff like that. To be honest, to be honest, I can say this without incriminating myself. All the women that I've dealt with in my life have been very um, in tune with what I've trying, with what I'm trying to do, Facts. and the goals that I've set mm-hmm. for myself. So networking is not really an issue when it comes to relationships and dealing with like my showcases and my music mm-hmm. career. Um, and even if it was, it, to be honest, this this is the, the long term. Yeah. Anything else is. It is what it is. Yeah. Like. What mm. about you? Relationships in me is just. I'm, I don't even know how to talk about it. It's just sometimes, yes, it do affects me in a way. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I just don't let it phase me at but all. But you're so young. Like, but. A lot of problems. Yeah, I but, know. But I do it to I myself got out though. Of relationship. I'm talking about people as young. Yeah. But what you call it? For me, like no relationships affect my work. Like that's what I'm asking. Like not affected in a way, but like me, I'm someone like I get really invested into like other stuff and other people. Mm-hmm. So if I'm like, if I'm like whatever, like if I'm dealing with you and stuff, I'm gonna get invested. Like, and I'm going to get sidetracked. So, like, I want to know because I know relationships affect what I do. I know relationships affect what I do yeah. and stuff like that. But being that you're so young, just try not to um let it, like, bother sway. You. Not even bother you, but just, like, sway you. Like you said, like, that's number one. Your dream is number one. Your dream is your baby. And whether... Yeah. Like, whether the fuck people fuck with it or not, you got to make sure that shit take off and it grow. We're going to go on a little quick break. When we come back, Um, I'm going to get some more into their business. <laughs> we might play a game or something, catch up with some trending topics. But um, you guys are still watching the Burnout Podcast at, at Street Media. So make tune sure in. you guys are tuning in. And, yeah. Tune in, tune in. Yeah. Music. All right, so make sure that y'all um stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready up, ready up, ready up, ready up, ready up, I turn her on when she off it. We make a movie, I call it a chocolate. Call her her, she with the softest. She need a gang, so don't fuck with no soft shit. She go to church for her profit. Then go to work for her profit. I keep her dripping like chocolate. My pockets don't pay, I stack feet on lay. My shorty Brazilian, she tryna get laid. I don't want the body, just give me some face. I'm working a lot, can't be sleeping for days. I might go on money, I work out on chase. Tripping, she no flexing, I counted some blessings. I switch up on niggas, they told me a lesson. I don't want these bitches, I put out a message. Let's roll up some cookie to Jenny, my beverage. She sleeping on niggas, I give her some leverage. Yeah, fuck all this happen, I don't need the fame. I fuck with some peons who stay in lane. Gorilla the room and I'm going insane. But I am a monster, I wanna be tame. I'm hopping no devil, I'm dripping in flames. Yeah, bad little brownie, she soon on my name. Bad little brownie, she dripping like chocolate. I turn her on when she off it. We make a movie, I call it a chocolate. Call her her, she with the softest. She need a gang, so don't fuck with no soft shit. 
She go to church for her profit Then go to work for her profit I keep her dripping like chocolate I keep the cookies and cream in my pocket Then buy her Louis like chocolate She never thought the boxes Give me a bowl, let me box Give me the rope, hold the hostage Turn the bear into a mosh pit She got a neck like an ostrich Treat the pussy like a fuck She be dripping in her Cartier's Like it's hot in here, so I ice her out Red bone and some V-Lone, bring the green home, that's without a doubt <laughs> That little brownie, uh, yeah, leave her dripping all on the couch She like it when I take her out, then I take her out, nigga, ask me how That little brownie, she dripping like chocolate I turn her on when she off it, we make a movie, I call it a chocolate. flick Call her Hershey with the soft kiss, she need a gangster, don't fuck with no soft shit She go to church for her profit, then go to work for her profit I keep her dripping like chocolate Louder than speakers. Huh. I gotta tell me this heater. Tell him without on my sneakers. Yeah. I made it pay for a feature. There you go, boy, that's a feature. There you go, boy, that's a feature. Yeah. Show that she bad on need her. Run it up all of your speakers. Yeah. Dumb out the sofa for the show. I need a bed for the road. Yeah. I need a side with a boat. Dumb out, I'm all in my zone. Yeah. Cushion, I fill up a coat. Rubbish go dumb in my zone. Dumb out the sofa for the show. Dumb out the sofa for the show. Yeah. Dumb out, yeah. What's up? We are back. Um, we still didn't decide whether or not we gonna play games to do trending topics. So I'ma just talk shit about shit I'm passionate She's about. And she I'ma already said let's do trending topics, and now she just want to talk shit. That's okay though. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay because this is the burnout podcast, and this is the burnout generation. Y'all know that's what our generation is called, right? The, the burnout. burnout generation. Why the fuck are we going there? Um, because do y'all know what the burnout is? No. It's kind of like you overwork yourself. So you just work and work and work and work and work and so hard to the point where it's just like, ugh. And then you start working again and working again and working again. Uh -oh. But that's basically our generation. That's what they call it. It's like we're just really pushing ourselves past limits. No generation has pushed themselves past. Of course, with social media and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, this is the Burnout Podcast. So we're just going to be burning out, baby. <laughs> So, um, speaking of social media, Same. I see y'all actually got, like, a really good social media presence. Like, y'all really good with, like, marketing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That shit Thank I'm you. really passionate about. Yo, when you commented on my picture and was like, you ready to run it up next week? I'm like, I'm so happy you did that. He just made my job so much, like, less, like, problematic. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, like... How does, like, social media, I guess, like, affect you guys in your day-to-day? -day? Not even just music. Like, how y'all feel about that shit? For me personally, I'm going to say social media. Fuck social media. That ass. Yeah. Like, you don't really like social media? Yeah, fuck social media. Because, like, it causes all the bullshit that we have now, all the sensitivity, all the, the boo-hooing, the me tooing, the everything. Excuse me. Don't, do not villainize me. I'm with the Me Too movement. I, 
I understand. I understand. Yo, you, you got media training or something? Because he just like, he on point. Because I'm just over here like, I'm waiting to get at you. Yo, good. Because niggas like me be waiting just to pounce. Oh, I'm here. But, nah, that you feel the same way about social media? Yeah, it's like the same thing. Like, right, for example, I'll, I'll put... Some something out to them like a little project or something. Mm -hmm. It's one day they're feeling it, and the next day it's like they're not. I mean, but it's mm. some. But now that at the level and like how far we got now, every time I drop something out, even if it's just a, a snippet or me saying I'm I'm gonna drop something soon, everybody just start tuning People in. People just start, start exactly. tapping in. They start fucking with and, it, and we get a whole motion going. In a marketing sense, though, like. Social media is actually one of the greatest things we have. Yeah, yeah. yeah what else one of the best inventions. But best inventions. I feel like it's a curse and a blessing. I just really feel like it's about balance. Like, I go through my spurts where I'm like, oh, I hate social media. Mm. And I go through my shits where I'm just, like, always on my phone. So it's, like, it's one of them things, especially, like, our generation. Like, we grew up with social media. Yeah. So, like, we are, like, like as technology evolved and changed and stuff like that, we grew up with it. So, we got to, like, see it for, like, in a weird way, it's humanity, even though it's not real. Like, it's yeah. crazy. Like, it's crazy how there's, like, humanity or some shit, like, in social media. Yeah. It's a whole community it's... in social mm -hmm. media. Like, the world is connected. That's, like, actually... Why is the greatest marketing tool? You you could reach my boy freaking Win in China at two AM in the morning yeah. while you chowing a burger at McDonald's, Win somewhere busting a nice shrimp dumpling like you <laughs> Yeah, for real. For real. And like, you listening to to Dumb Out or or he listening to S three media burnout. Of course. You know, always like, yeah. always gotta listen to that. That's right. what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. So that so you guys have like a lot of like personality mm -hmm. so how does that like i want to say because i have a lot of personality too how does that like affect you on like your day-to-day -day when you're not networking because i know for me like in networking settings and stuff like i flourish like i could do that shit but like in real life like i suck that like suck literally like not literally because i'm the best but like you know like in real life like i'm really just like to myself and people are just like I don't know, like, whether to fuck with you or, like, if you want some shit. So, like, do y'all get that a lot? Because I feel, I find that with, like, people who are really, like, submersed in, like, their talent. Um, yes. Me, yeah, 100%. That exact. That no. question went over your head. No, I didn't go over oh. my head. Because <laughs> he, like, yes, 100%. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> no, no, no. I was listening to you the whole time, and I'm like, mm -hmm. yo, that's me on a day to day. Oh, so you, you know, felt it. Yeah, like, I, that, I'm in. <laughs> Can I get a preach pastor? Preach. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Like, I be, I, I do sales, and I, I, mm -hmm. I work every day. And around the people that I'm with, like, sales is really something that, like, you got to be focused in your work. But a lot of the people around me want to talk, have friendships, mm -hmm. relationships. I kind of be boxed. Like, all right, we could cool for a minute. Mm -hmm. but this is what I'm in right now. And then outside of work, I'm, you know, trying to get to him, trying to find different avenues and venues to try to get the music out, mm -hmm. trying to come up with different songs. Like, we have all, all of my time is so vested in myself and this career and then trying to evolve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. it's yeah. a whole you know, bald mix up. So as far as like hip hop, mm -hmm. I want to get into that because we do talk a lot about hip hop on this show and my view is like when I breaks it down. Mm -hmm. So like how do y'all feel about like hip hop's like current state right now, especially like as far as New York City, like the artists we got from New York. Cause I'm not gonna lie, six nine got us looking kinda wacky. Great. I'm not so talking about him gotta... this show. Um because I talked about him like the show before that. I was wilding him up, boy. Yeah. But um fucking um have y'all been watching Rhythm and okay. Flows on Netflix? Um with Cardi B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all like that? Um, I haven't followed it to be honest. I don't really like Cardi B as a judge. Yeah. Cause she on there telling niggas that they verses is whack and shit like that. I and mean, I'm like I, I, I hope she is. I like, hope you are Cardi yeah. B keep doing it. Cause but no lie, no lie. She not the one to tell nobody that this shit is whack. You hundred percent right. Right. 100%, right. You hundred percent right. But 
Come on now, but maniac. You you absolutely right with that. But we can't let these niggas pass. No matter if it is, you're right. She has no... <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. But not not for nothing. Like I like the show. Once you get past Cardi B being a judge, like it's actually really a good show, and she do got some good like critique and criticism and shit like that in it. But like, how do y'all just feel like? All right, the shit with Six Nine snitching and mm-hmm. the fake blood persona. Cardi B don't write none of her raps. Mm-hmm. Um, who else is from New York? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I, and like uh, not for nothing, like. Nah, Davies put it on right now. Like he the only nah, nigga Davies, that's not embarrassing us. Davies is that I was putting on here. Casanova, yeah, Casanova, Casanova, Casanova yeah. one too. So how Young y'all feel about New York right now? Let the people know right now. Like how y'all feel about New York? New y'all York, from New York? We doing our thing. I know Jones just came out with El Capo. So shout out to Jim Jones. Definitely gonna listen to that whole thing. You got you know you got the whole of Dipset doing their thing. Fab doing they, his thing. Ho, come on, Hove just became a billionaire. Billionaire. Come on, a billionaire. Like the stroke. Don't Facts. get me wrong. Shout out to Hove. If we're talking Facts. about current hip hop. Even though he don't need my shout out. Nah, he needs to shout me out, bitch. Shout out for that nigga. Mm-hmm. Still, that's, that's something I aspire to be. Yeah. So, long, long story short, what we got now with the new currents, like everybody coming out of Brooklyn, y'all are doing y'all damn thing. Pop doing your fucking thing. Yeah, dick. pop. I know uh, I shouldn't mention this nigga in the same sentence, but Chef G doing <laughs> the damn thing. Yeah. All, all y'all do y'all damn Nah, thing. and not Facts. for nothing, like, this This even goes back to, like, our first episode and shit like that. And I'm going to talk to y'all real quick. Um, Me and my old co-host, we were, like, breaking down, like, the shit with, like, 2-2-Gs and stuff. And we just were saying, like, not even um this few episodes back, like, we were excited to see, like, because y'all know Pop Smoke and fucking the shit with, like, you know. Mm-hmm. So, Perfect. like, I... I just want everybody in New York to just like, like I know it's gonna be impossible for niggas to dead beef because this like beef like outside Side of, of right, industry right, shit. Right, right, but right. it's just like if niggas in New York just got rid of like the street mentality for like two seconds and just made music, bro. Like for two seconds, just forgot. Like they would really like we really blow. Like it would really be some right. shit. So I'm like I really appreciate that y'all like at the showcase it was mad love going around like everybody showed love and shit like that even during one of the performances and I'm not gonna say what I wanted to say because it was positive what he said but he um one of the performances that's like yo even if a nigga trash show him love like just cause like just cause but we not about that no yeah we yeah love. I don't show love if you trash yeah. just to burn out podcast yeah. you get the fuck out of here if you trash because bro what people don't understand is like there comes a point in time where you also have to realize what shit is for you and when shit not, not for you right. me i know when to get up off it believe it or not when i was 10 years old in my mind i was gonna be the next Nicki minaj i was gonna be the next female rapper like and that's probably why people think i be hating and shit <laughs> i be hating on other female rappers and shit but like i knew that wasn't for me at my young age like I knew I was just meant to Sometimes you just gotta be else. real with yourself Yeah exactly sometimes you have to be real for yourself So I'm not gonna show you love if you trash But I will wish that you Dude. Find something else yeah. <laughs> But yeah so um, Going back to just like the hip hop culture in new york right now how do y'all feel about working with other artists in new york y'all said y'all worked with some artists from the um showcase and stuff so i'm really happy i did that but like how do y'all feel like as a whole like is it hard for y'all to reach out to other artists from new york and be like yo let's collaborate on something um yeah because i guess every to me i guess everybody just be so busy working on their craft and doing other things that they don't have really have much time to respond back to us sometimes but that's mm-hmm. when we're on that i we need to reach out type of basis mm-hmm. which we're not really on sometimes because we still got a lot of of our mm-hmm. things to do also for me we're just trying to make as much noise as possible till we just like one day just wake them up like for, like other artists be like all right okay let me just stop from what i'm doing and just look into this run it up out of New York, da da and just like see if we can do a collab with them or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So what does run it up mean? Like what is like where did y'all come up with that name? Run it up is a lifestyle. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like 
to be honest, it started with like just a, a alliteration, like a grammar tool, because he, like I said, he was 14 when he came to me, and I was mm -hmm. on a conscious tip. It wasn't really nothing but making conscious music and coming up with catchy shit. Not to cut you off, but what made you switch? I'm just curious. What made me switch was I felt like I was too preachy, and there was enough preachy people out at the yeah. time I was trying to be out. So I started really doing music with him and his flow. Like, don't sleep or run it up. Don't sleep or run it up, Rich. Yeah. Oh, they're not going to sleep. Don't sleep or run it up, Rich. You up here, you good. He he got a ways to go, but the, the man has talent, pure mm -hmm. talent, raw talent that I really, I ain't even going to say, like, I fed off of. That's He's a word. star. He's a like, star yeah, by himself. Both He's of y'all. Y'all both are stars in y'all own right. Like, y'all both are, like, different but the same. Like, y'all, like, one, like, got two separate entities and one. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, but he's a star. I seen him over there on his live and shit turning up. He came in here all quiet and shit. I'm <laughs> like, nigga, this nigga ain't quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I just wanted to know because, yeah, but you, like, as a big cousin, like, your guidance to him, like, just, like, do this and do that. Like, even you switching from, like, the woke shit to what you doing now is just a testament to how you can, like, evolve your sound and understand other people's shit because a lot of time we get caught up in our own message i know i do like once yeah. i think something that's it and that's it yep. like yeah. i was i on air when i was telling them the story about i was about to cry because i didn't want to listen yeah yeah, oh, yeah you did. but we was you off did. air when i oh we was on air yeah. yeah like that shit is real so y'all gotta y'all stay like that Zen. but yeah back to what you were saying but run it up run it up is a lifestyle like mm -hmm. Everything you do, you gotta run it up, like to the max. Mm -hmm. If you if you on the podcast, run it up. <laughs> like get little with the podcast. Amazing. If you on the stage, no, run it up. If you on this podcast, let's talk about it. Yeah, just, yeah, just that's what it. we do. We talk about it. Oh, okay. All right. uh -huh. let's, let's talk about it. <laughs> well, we gonna run it up while we talk about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> y'all could run it up while we talk about it. <laughs> yeah, like you just like you gotta run it up. It was, mm -hmm. it was mostly like a, I wouldn't say a movement, but like I want people like when they hear running it up, it's like. I okay, some something hot is about to happen. Like, I mean, more like I, I sense, I feel motivation is just coming from somewhere, and I gotta be part of that. I mean, it's just, that's mm -hmm. so we do. That's how I come on. Like, that's why I be trying to start those little s sneaky coming in my verses. Like, I want, oh yeah, like this is what coming. Like he's coming, da da da. And mm -hmm. when the verse coming, just drop, and that's me, my flow, my verse, everything. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's just, yeah. so Damn, my question literally just slipped my mind. I hate when this happens. Oh, my God. Okay, so when you guys are, like, what is, like, studio sessions, like, with you guys? Like, how do y'all get your songs together? No lie. We try not so to. I got a lot of energy. So how is this going down? We try not to waste time, so we don't book the session until we got something down. That's yeah. key. Say that one more time and look into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we don't waste time nor money because these sessions cost bread. Yeah. So we make sure we don't go to the studio till we have something down. So yeah. quick PSA to all of y'all that be going to the studio thinking y'all doing it big with y'all homeboy because y'all did a $500 session and made nothing. That's key. Make sure y'all get y'all shit down, know what y'all doing, so y'all not wasting no time. It don't matter how much money you put into a studio session. If you don't have work that you're getting out of it, you was there for no fucking reason. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And I would tell him that all the time. He'd be like, yo, I want to be in the studio. I'd be like, yo, no lie, I do too, mm -hmm. but I'm not about to sit here just to sit here. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, we are. Because in the studio session, really, we just be getting dead. Yeah. Straight to the face. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. cop a half, put it on the table, roll up, roll up, roll up, and that, that would be the whole session. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you can't, you can't do that. You have yeah. to actually have work that's coming out of there. I'm putting money into it, and we are the investment. So yep. I got to get a return. <laughs> yup. Yeah. Yup. Talk yeah. that talk. Talk yeah. that talk, young king. Yeah. Come on. Man. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> get a young king a round of applause. Appreciate All appreciate we have is young kings on this show. I mean, duh, because it's hosted by young queen. <laughs> say that. Say that. Say that. Say that. Not for me, Look, yeah. Foxy Cleopatra in the Yes. <laughs> period. Period. But, um, yeah. So, like, all right. So that's one. What else? 
Hold on, repeat the question one more time. I was asking like, what is a studio session like for you guys? Okay, I, that distracted me. All right, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, studio session like yeah, we get super dead, and then like if we don't have the song down, we at least have a beat in mind, like yeah. something that we was working on before. Mm-hmm. So we'll like pick the beat again. Bop it for a little bit while we have something because we always do two songs because mm-hmm. we gotta have like choices of all right was this one trash was this one good yeah. mm-hmm. but every time we go to the studio and this is not even a big up our own heads the the engineer like nah y'all really slapped that track like that's I, a could fact. <laughs> I could imagine I could imagine so we we try to make it consistent of mm-hmm. slap yeah. chop. And get yeah, out the studio. Yeah, get out the studio. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And y'all young. Y'all know what y'all doing. That is amazing. So you said you was gonna be asking me questions back. So y'all got. Oh yeah. So you in a relationship with? Oh my god. <laughs> like, no, I told y'all I was single. Oh yeah. She yes. just got out of a. Relationship. No, I didn't just get out of a relationship. I was just getting out of a relationship when I started this the show. show. Mm. Yeah, that was way back in March. It was crazy. But um, no, I'm not in a relationship. You 23, so I give you like a pass. You too young to be in a relationship because I'm yeah. too young to be in a relationship. But <laughs> but what you could know. But um. So all right, my next question is, <laughs> what inspired this hairstyle? What inspired this is all right. So I had a photo shoot the other day, and not for nothing, I didn't start wearing like weaves and shit like that until I was like 12 years old. So, um, like, when I did, it was a wrap. Like, I didn't wear my natural hair after that. So, matter of fact, I'm lying. Not even 12, probably, like, 13, 14. Anyway, period, like, I didn't wear my natural hair, like, once I got put onto this weave life. So, I didn't know what the fuck to do with my hair. So, I was just like this. <laughs> Bam. Because the theme of the photo shoot was natural. So... Like oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I like that. Do you guys do photo shoots and stuff like that? You guys should get some professional pictures and stuff yeah. to just show yourselves like mm-hmm. as artists. Yeah, we have our own like photographer that does mm-hmm. our shoots. Yeah, just things take time. Let's put it like yeah. that. Things y'all take time. need any model classes? Holla at your girl. I got some poses for y'all. Gotcha. <laughs> I got you. So I are y'all you. like? What are some things y'all are into right now? What y'all fucking with right now? Right now, mm-hmm. um, me like outside of rapping and sales, like my my day job, I really like writing. I'm also like a big anime fan. I, don't know I love that. anime too. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, watching my hero, it just my came hero. back out with that um premiere for season four. No, it's out already. Did the, you see the um episode? The whole the, of season. No, four? the whole the whole shit is not out. Just season. I think fucking episode two. Episode two. Mm-hmm. Nah, I, I ain't even watched episode one because I saw it was only episode yeah. one. So I said, nah, screw that. <laughs> oh, oh, so you just binge watching? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been watching them little Japanese subtitles. Yeah, and shit. Wait, read it. I'll be right on that shit. I'm telling you, by the time this season is done, I'm gonna know how to speak Japanese. I'll be saying that. Yo, I'm gonna know, bro. I'm gonna know because word of my mother, like I watched all this shit in English. And and like I know everything about like the character development Nani? and stuff no. like that. <laughs> so for me, it's I could do. It. You watch anime? You fuck yeah, anime? Yeah, what are y'all doing for Halloween? I'm just all over the place right now. Ooh, I'm just all over the place right now. So it's I was going into work. So and we got business casual. Mm-hmm. But they've been getting real accidental lately. I hope they're not watching this. But. My supervisor, we real tight. He said he was going to pull up because he looked like Cat Williams in the face. <laughs> oh, Lord. So he said he was going to pull up in a purple suit, baby blue shirt. Okay. I said, all right, cool. Let me get my Sean John Velour and I got a Kango. I'm ready for you. Pimping training with the pimp. I'm here. I- okay. Baby powder, baby powder. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like Halloween. That's like my second favorite holiday. I like Halloween. What was he gonna do? I mean, I already see Fox Brown, yeah. Pam Grier. Yeah. So I guess by popular demand. Uh, <laughs> hey, I guess that's a. But not my job usually does a Halloween party. But what I was thinking, I usually tell my viewers how my weekend went. So what I'm gonna do now is y'all could tell my viewers how y'all weekend went, and I'll go next. Y'all could share about y'all weekend. 
So, how was your weekend since it's Sunday and shit? Um, what y'all do Friday, Saturday? Friday, it was it was work. I just got this new job down, so it was just straight working. Then after working, you know, had a smoke. <laughs> and after that, it was just straight into music. Like I was like watching tutorials and stuff, mm-hmm. like basically stuff to help me perfect my craft. And ended the day weekend. on Friday. Yeah, calm weekend basically. What did you do this weekend? So, um, what well, we did this weekend? <laughs> 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 not not oh. like that. Be me, me, me and him. Um, we actually went to a studio, man, shoot, I forgot the name of the studio, I was about to shout them out, but studio out in Brooklyn. Um, I think it was, um, what is it? The highest, div- uh, no, sound, sound Division sound, Studios. Oh yeah, Sound Division Studios. Sound uh, in Brooklyn. Yeah, that's a, it's a good studio, the engineer is a real good guy. Ferry, mm-hmm. yeah. Big shout out to Ferry. And we was, um, we was with I Am Coolito. Yeah. Coolito Brooklyn. Coolito Brooklyn. He's, Shout he's, him out. He's next up. Yes. I've been, ooh, up. I'm going to drop up. your phone. I've been waiting for you. Say hey to everyone, Quentin. <laughs> but all right, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all how my weekend went. Um, I worked, what was that, yesterday? Bitch. Like, every time I work, I have a fucking story. But, like, I was telling y'all like earlier, like the peoples was mesmerized by my fro. Like when I was just in there, the peoples was just like, they could not believe it. Like, I don't know, but my weekend was calm. I worked, I work at a lounge. So my work is pretty much like a party. (laughs) So I worked and what did I do Friday? I think I just chilled with my family. Oh, it was Will's birthday Friday. Happy birthday to him. Happy birthday, Will. And um, I yeah. Will was over there for a second. I nah, he's lie. actually in Jersey with Desert Storm Radio right now. So mm-hmm. shout them out. I shout out Desert Storm. Shout you out Last um, Take. Light up. But um, so um, we are coming to the end of my show. We'll come to the end of the. Oh, we got eight minutes. Oh, math. I don't know what's going on with me today. Why am I trying to end this shit so fast? I don't have nowhere to be. So, what the fuck? Where, um, what are some things you guys got? Anything you're like promoting right now? Any shows coming up that the people, because y'all need to see them perform? We got a show at the Roxy's on the 27th. Or at the Roxy's? Where is that? Roxy's in Astoria. Uh, And this is for Showcase King. Shout out Showcase King, TNB, Duggan and Buggin. Yeah. Um,. October 27th, y'all, Saturday, 8 p.m. Pop out, pop out. It's gonna be a movie. For real? All right, pop out, pop yeah. out. It's gonna yeah. be. A, it's gonna be a. It's movie. gonna be a movie. We about right. to dumb out on the stage. You dig? That's a fact. You guys got any um projects y'all working on? Any EPs? Any um games? yeah. Um, run right. it up to the world. Right soon, up to the come. world. That's. I'm glad because I, I wanna I wanna get into that. Run up to the world. That's in 2020. Like that. It's a major project. Can't talk about it yet. Can't. My bad. Okay, so excuse me, y'all. Um, so what are like our socials and stuff? Where can the people find y'all? My social. Hold up, you trying to get niggas around me? No, <laughs> not your social. Social, your social media. But if you want to leave your social with me, now nah, let me stop. <laughs> um, Instagram. Asan. Obviously, run it up, decimal, run it up. It's gonna pop up. Two run it ups and a period in the middle. Instagram. Official C H O underscore R I U. I was gonna change it to something simpler, but mm-hmm. now nah, hold that. <laughs> and tell the people to keep requesting y'all song on Desert Storm Radio. Last yeah. take Tuesday, so, yeah, ten p.m. Last take, last take Tuesdays at Desert Storm Radio. So um, we're gonna have to do something with um Desert Storm song math uh with last take. Cause y'all up here mentioning them, we giving them a lot of promo up here. Yeah, we're gonna have to, take we're is... gonna have to talk to y'all soon. We're gonna have to see y'all soon. Yeah, um, what do I have time. going on? I don't have nothing to promote for y'all. I have my eyelashes. Y'all can steal bottles. Y'all can follow me at Rebecca dot Shelby as always. Um, the Burnout Podcast, Burnout dot Pod at Street Media S underscore Street underscore Media. That is our 
home Instagram where you can see all our content. Um, Shout out to her hair. Shout out to Rafe. Y'all got anything y'all promoting? Reese, you got anything you promoting? We got Reese the Battle Rapper. He not going to come on camera, y'all, because he not looking too right. But believe me, we got Reese the Battle Rapper up here. What's your battle rap name? Your battle, his battle rap name is Reese. Y'all might have seen him in that. You got any raps coming up? Oh. Next Smoke month. In a week, too. Shout out Moody AP. That's, um. Why that sound familiar? Moody AP. He, um, that's another person, I'd say, like, a, a lifetime friend that I would say, like, he literally took me in for mm -hmm. me. Like, even, even with things was going down, like, with music, he was, like, he played a, a very big role, like, part of that. It was, I would say it was all three, but some drastic happened to him, so he had to move out to Cali and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but... He's coming back and Respect. and he's a part of Run It Up to the World. So that's it's Run It Up to the it's World. Our no, it's, it's really, our it's, year. It's really okay. our year. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Like big shout out to him. Watch out for them twenty twenty, y'all. Um yeah, this is actually a good podcast. Like this is calm and shit like that. I like to just come up here and talk shit and rant and stuff like that. So I appreciate y'all coming up here. Can we play one last song to go out? Ranting. Can we play one last song? Of to course, go out? we are gonna play one last song to go out. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, he ready, he ready. Of course, play that heat. But um, nah, I just want to say thank you for coming up. Like, thank you for like showing me love. Of mm -hmm. course, we're gonna keep playing y'all up here. So y'all gotta home here at Street Media. Anytime y'all wanna come up and do some other stuff. Okay. So. Anytime. 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 Thank you yeah, for having really us. Thank you. Y'all come Thank up here and us. keep what y'all have going on. Like oh, keep course. that unity. Teamwork is gonna keep y'all going really far. Once you have a team behind you and y'all all on the same page, mm -hmm. you guys are gonna go far. Yeah. So with that, this is the Burnout Podcast. I am your host, Rebecca <laughs> Shelby. And um, do I have any last mentions for y'all? Not tonight, because, you know, my foots is always on these bitches' necks. So we out. <laughs> <laughs>